Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to launch your office application because if this error that is Word or Excel or PowerPoint has run into an error that is preventing it from working correctly. So if you're receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. So first of all, perform repair. So type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel and then go to uninstall a program option and over here find your office over here so once you find your office make a right click on the office and then click on change click on yes to allow and then go for quick repair fixes more most issues quickly without the need of internet connection so first of all go for quick repair click on repair and once the repair is done now you can check if that does not work you can even go for online repair read this fixes all issues but takes a little longer and requires an internet connection throughout you can select this option if you are still having problems after a quick repair so first of all try quick repair if that does not work you can even go for online repair and then once this is done now you can restart your computer and then check now still not working in that case uninstall and reinstall office to fix it uninstall office using Revo uninstaller now before you uninstall make sure that you have the required details to reinstall office like product key if you have microsoft account make sure that you have the microsoft account which has the office also save your work before uninstalling office now to uninstall office you can use Revo uninstaller so you can search in google Revo uninstaller and then you can go to Revo uninstaller website and you can download the free version of Revo Uninstaller. Click on free downloads and you can download the free trial. And then you can run this exe file and you can install Revo Uninstaller. In my case, it is already installed. So once you install it, you can launch Revo Uninstaller. Let me launch it launch it and then click on yes to allow once open now find office in the list now once you find office over here so in my case, I have Office 365. Whichever office you have, you select your office over here and then you to make a right click and then click on uninstall. Or you can select it and then click on uninstall over here. And then click on yes. Listed programs are installed on same location as the Microsoft and the leftovers from these programs will be found. Yes. Continue. Now you will receive this prompt ready to uninstall. So click on uninstall over here and let the uninstall complete. Now here you can see done uninstalling. Once uninstall, you can close this and then you have to select over here the advanced option. So make sure that you select advanced and then click on scan. Now click on select all and then click on delete. Click on yes. Again click on select all and then click on delete. Again yes. Now restart your computer restart is a must after this click on restart now after the system restart you can go to account.microsoft.com and then once you go to account.microsoft.com now click on sign in and log in with microsoft account which has the office 
So click on sign in. Now, once you're logged in, now go to subscription tab. And once you go to subscription tab, you will see your office subscription. And then over here, you will see an option which says install desktop version of Microsoft 365 or Office. So click on this option, which says install Office. So click on it. Now, once you click on it, you will see this prompt, which says install Office. And then you can select the language. You can select by default, it will be selected. Now click on install. Now, once you click on install, you will see this exe file. You can click on this exe file. Click on yes to allow. So over here, you can see it's installing Office. So you should be able to install Office successfully this time. Now, in case if you have a product key to install Office, in that case, you can copy this link. And then this link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. And over here, you can click on Get Started and then enter your enter your product key over here. Once you enter your product key, it will give you instruction to click on next. Uh, next will be highlighted and then you can just follow the on screen steps to install office. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like, please like this video and subscribe to my channel.